Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Maple Shamrock. My name is Zadmeister, and uh, with me today, as always, we've got Jagaran Zero and Xenadine. Please introduce yourselves. Jagaran Zero, a streamer and unfortunate victim of this episode. <laughs> and I'm Xenadine. I am... I'm going to continue this. I am drinking Nivea Daily Essentials Gentle Exfoliating Scrub. Good choice, good choice. Jag? Yeah, I'm drinking Table Max. I see, I see. As for today, I've actually gotten a job as a bartender here, so I have uh, had the privilege of knowing today's special. And so for today, I am drinking ink. Which Kidding. is... <laughs> which is... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Which is quite fitting. Our good buddy Jagaran Zero here is a noob when it comes to memes. Someone yeah, I would, I, I would go as far as call me a normie because I'm definitely not. I yeah, exactly. I was about to say he's not quite normie level, but he's very, how shall we say, blissfully ignorant. The thing ignorant is, I don't person. live on Reddit. By the way, for the audience, I'm not entirely sure what Zed's bringing up either, so this may or may not be a new experience for me too. So this is an example of a copy pasta that was found on an image board. Uh, on a on a weapons image, uh, image board of all things. <clears throat> what the fuck did you just fucking say about me, you little bitch? I'll have you know, I graduated the top of my class in the Navy SEALs, and I've been involved in numerous secret raids on Al-Qaeda, and I have over 300 confirmed kills. I am trained in guerrilla warfare, and I am the top sniper in the entire U.S. Armed Forces. You are nothing to me but just another target. I will wipe you the fuck out with precision, the likes of which has never been seen on before on this earth. Mark my fucking words. You think you can get away with saying that shit to me over the internet? Think again, fucker. As we speak, I am contacting my secret network of spies across the USA, and your IP is being traced right now, and you better prepare for the storm, maggot. The storm that wipes out the pathetic little thing that you call your life. You're fucking dead, kid. I can be anywhere, anytime, and I can kill you in over 700 ways, and that's just with my bare hands. Not only am I extensively trained in unarmed combat, but I have access to the entire arsenal of the United States Marine Corps, and I will use it to its full extent to wipe your miserable ass off the face of the continent, you little shit. If only you could have known what whole unholy retribution your little clever comment was about to bring down upon you. Maybe you would have held your fucking tongue, but you couldn't. You didn't. And now you're paying the price, you goddamn idiot! I will shit fury all over you and you will <laughs> drown in it! You're fucking dead, kiddo. Do you know what else is dead? The future monetization of this video. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it! <laughs> oh, come on, come on! Future Sand could you put a random beeps in there? <laughs> I think that but would I don't want I, to. I think that would give him a stroke. I think in almost every episode we have swept at least over five to ten times. Probably when he did like fifty in a minute. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That was that like broke a record for swearing it. <laughs> oh god. Like that's that's been an internet tough guy in a nutshell. Exactly! There's there's some there's some things to note about this copy pasta. Like Particularly, the fact when he says guerrilla warfare, it's not spelt the correct way. It's spelt like the uh, simian kind of guerrilla. Zenadine, go over this copy pasta and tell me that this doesn't give you Jotaro vibes. If you if you can like, if you think about it, uh, like you little bitch. Oh, if you know, I graduated top of my class, and yeah, I could see it. But like, uh, I, 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 I love I love life. the claim that he is the best sniper ever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wipe you up first face. No, no, not 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 one of the best, but the, the best. best. Yeah, yeah. See. Well, this is on a freaking 
weapons enthusiast image board. Uh, I almost think this has to be somebody who played a lot of video games and thinks they're tough because they've seen it in the video games. What the fuck did you just say about me, you little bitch? <laughs> you know, I graduated top of my class in <laughs> and I've been involved in numerous secret raids on Al-Qaeda. I have over 300 confirmed kills. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Just, just look at my my Xbox account and tell me there's not 300 kills. This is actually this is the face of the dude that uh is um that is associated with this. <laughs> 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 Of all the pictures, I was not expecting this one. <laughs> right? <laughs> this is... I, I was expecting somebody with sunglasses trying to look all buff and cool. Yeah, this guy just used the copy pasta on Facebook to try and be tough. madres <laughs> timadi. I can't pick. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! Like, <laughs> look at how ridiculous that is. This is this is copy pastas in a nutshell. All right. So so pretty much something stupid happens, and then somebody escalates it into something dumber. Yeah, and people yes. meme the shit out of it as a result, and then it's there for the world to see. It's freaking amazing, and I love it <laughs> because oh, it's that... just the stupidest people trying to sound. Uh, I'll, I'll do one more here. Um, I, I think my other favorite part is killing you 700 ways with my bare hands alone. That's just with my bare hands alone. <laughs> so tell me what number 676 is. Yeah, right? Since, since we're doing copy pasta, this is probably my other one. We're going a little bit from internet tough guy to internet smart guy. So, this is the uh, internet smart guy copy pasta, anyways. <clears throat> okay. To be fair, you have to have a very high IQ to understand Rick and Morty. The humor is extremely subtle, and without a solid grasp of theoretical physics, most of the jokes will go over a typical viewer's head. There's also Rick's nihilistic outlook, which is deftly woven into his characterization. His personal philosophy draws heavily from Narodnaya Volia literature, for instance. The fans oh, understand this stuff. They have the intellectual capacity to truly appreciate the depths of these jokes, to realize that they're not just fun. They say something deep about life. As a consequence, people who dislike Rick and Morty truly are idiots. Of course they wouldn't appreciate, for instance, the humor in Rick's existential catchphrase, Wubba Lubba Dub Dub! Which if <laughs> itself is a cryptic reference to Turgenev's Russian epic Fathers and Sons. I'm smirking right now just imagining one of those adult-pated simpletons scratching their head in confusion as Dan Harmon's genius wit unfolds itself onto their television screens. <laughs> what fools. How I pity them, laughing emoji. And yes, by the way, I do have a Rick and Morty tattoo. And no, you cannot see it. It's for the ladies' eyes only. And even then, they have to demonstrate that they're within five IQ points of my own, preferably lower, beforehand. No, oh, God! <laughs> nothing personnel, kid. Sunglasses emoji. Uh, is this the guy picture... is it. Is the picture oh. associated the guy in the stadium and the girl looking really uncomfortable? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so, oh my all right, God, to get ourselves so canceled already, I have never liked Mick Rick and Morty. I think, I think Sad knew this. <laughs> oh, well, then you're, uh, I guess you're yeah. one of these idiots that they're talking about in this creepypasta. <laughs> <laughs> God damn this, this motherfucker. I think if uh, if anybody heard somebody saying this, they'd w feel the incredible urge to slap the shit out of this guy. If I uh, I actually had a coworker who kind of talked like that to me for a while for my comments on Rick and Morty not being enjoyable for me. And not the same rant, but a similar rant on... Seriously? I, I, just, I just don't get it. 
And it's more of a soul for smart people. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I, so I have, I have walked with somebody who had an opinion kind of like that. How do people not as, not as, pretty much not as bored and hungry as this guy. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. No. This dude is, <laughs> is incredibly virgin hungry in more than one way. <laughs> also, frickin' going on the fucking. Jag, are you familiar with Cold Steel the Hedgehog? No. Oh, no. oh okay. That's our next topic then. Y'all must have seen people back in the day, Jag, uh, and maybe Zenadine too, uh, of people of, of people making uh, numerous amounts of Sonic OCs. Yeah, 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 I know some of the famous ones, like the obvious ones. Yeah. Well, okay. So this is um this is the infamous Cold Steel the Hedgehog. Yeah. So um allow me to uh, allow me to read you his bio. Okay. Oh God. <laughs> so, <laughs> Cold Steel. <clears throat> uh, Cold Steel the Hedgehog. Uh, bio. Cold Steel was born with a special power. He was stronger than all his classmates in the Sonic Fighting Academy. He served in the Sonic military, fighting Shadow in the final battle against Shadow. And they were fighting, and Shadow turned him to the darkness, and Cold Steel turned against Sonic and killed him. That is all one sentence, by the way. <laughs> no, wait, wait, what? That's what? Yeah. No! No! <laughs> oh, yeah. He lost a part of his ear in the battle, which is why he doesn't not... He doesn't not have a part of his ear. Please stop PMing me, asking me why that's why. <laughs> God damn it. I'm having a stroke reading this, I swear. <laughs> Yeah, do we need to get you to the local hospital? <laughs> we might by the time I'm reading. I'm done reading this. <laughs> also, earrings aren't girly. Fuck you, Chaos Kid 663. Everyone knows you're a fucking Pokemon scammer. F word. <laughs> oh my god. He <laughs> actually got earrings on his ears. <laughs> Just on his spikes. On his tail. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Okay, likes. Here's here's what Cold Steel likes. Okay, Cold okay. Steel Cold Steel likes hurting people, being badass, motorcycles, <laughs> Nine Inch Nails, the band, killing, death, punk rock. I, he called it Zenithine. Yep. What? What? <laughs> yeah, I said you? killing and death before he started. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, and he also likes punk rock, Jinko jeans, skulls, <laughs> darkness, <laughs> hot girls with big boobies who are sluts. What? <laughs> nine, nine inch nails on finger. <laughs> oh, wait, on a single finger? <laughs> <laughs> no, because he said nine inch nails in the band, right? But he also likes them on finger, I guess, whatever oh, that means. On a single finger. <laughs> on a single finger, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, earrings and purple. Cool kind, not the gay kind. Oh, God. <laughs> is this 2008? Uh, this is actually... 2013! What? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is out of date. Yes. On the least! Yeah! Go jeans, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was thinking this is somebody in the mid 2000s towards the late 2000s, no, right before right things on. were changing. Because right. it, this is like somebody's OC before a lot of cops has changed. Oh, seriously? Yeah! 100%! No, this, is... this, this screams like pre 2010s. 
Nah, this was perfect for the time when you were younger and you're like, oh, okay, I'm gonna go into school. Like, when it was around the late 2000s, you go into school and you hop on Sonic Character Maker, you make your character, and that's oh, that. Goodness. You can't really post that anywhere. But when you get Crazy. a bit older, you still think that was cool. Yeah. When you got I, I, I can't believe this, this is 2010s because a lot of this stuff i would be able to see in 2008 yeah same I'm going to see we saw that shit everywhere out. back in <laughs> like, like when we were going up that was the type of way people talked and oh but dear uh, god it's embarrassing <laughs> but fellas we are not done it gets better or worse depending on how you see it Hello, oh, wait. This is, this uh, is... I'm assuming this is his dislikes, right? I'm gonna assume oh, yes. something. On oh yes, dislikes spelled with the S and the E brain. switched okay. by accident. Wait, so it's I'm also dyslexic. <laughs> <laughs> right, anybody, anybody want to, anybody want to take a guess first to see right. like? What... I'm, I, I'm almost going to guess gay people with the insulting phrasing. Okay. Yeah, I'm also gonna say sunshine, happiness. That one guy who did the Pokemon trade scams, apparently. Uh, <laughs> he said he rings are gay. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, well, let's. I'm uh, gonna say chili dogs as well. Ooh, ooh, going extra edgy. You know, that's like the, the epitome of edge when you dislike something that Sonic likes. Gasp! All right, let's go, let's go. All let's right. see how edge this is. All right, folks, let's, let's go. Dislikes. Niceness, happiness, Levi's, Kevin Robinson from school. Fuck you, Kevin. Stop showing everyone my fucking deviant art, you piece of shit. Spelt P E A C E. <laughs> I'm fine. Uh, continuing, he dislikes Trent Rasner, whoever the hell he that is. Uh, short nails. Oh. Chaos Kid 663. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I can't believe Benedine, you fucking guessed you, that. You you get you get uh, internet high five on that one. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. That's beautiful. <laughs> oh, and in quote and in in brackets for Chaos Kid 63, he says mega ass f word. <laughs> 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 and he dislikes sunshine, life, <laughs> yeah, life, my dad, and football. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, and football. And fo Did he specify oh. which football? <laughs> no, he just says football. <laughs> so both kinds, I guess. <laughs> okay, so I, I think I got two of my four. You got the big one. I got the big one. You I got the so big sad. one! Somehow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it! <laughs> Dude. But I, I can actually go on and say, this is kind of how OCs in the 2000s Oh, wore. yeah! 100%! A everybody made somebody who was dark, edgy, like, this was how a lot of them were. I'm really surprised this is 2013 because that was around the time that 13. this type of character was dying. Well, yeah, this is what you would see a lot on DeviantArt, all over DeviantArt, wherever you would go. And the like, art, Sonic reskins. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, there was the Sonic character maker back when we were kids, too. Like, people would post a bunch of those everywhere. And and a lot of them had to be Edgelords. And yeah. I, feel like the, I feel like the whole complete Edgelord OC thing has... Pretty much died out. Like yeah, it's still no, there, my but what? my OCs are super wholesome now. As well, I mean, I guess as far as we know. As far oh as yeah, I think a lot of people keep their edgy OCs to themselves as well. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm... but, but uh, uh, I, I have been in class with people who made OCs of Same. game characters and stuff, and yeah. They're almost on this level. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hundred percent. Like, and of course, they always have to be better than Sonic, too. You notice They that? always have to be better than the main character said... and, choose, and choose the more edgy character. I remember uh, Skylar was faster than Sonic and stronger than Knuckles. And had telekinesis. 
Oh, by the way, I forgot. There's one more thing on this. All right, there's oh. two more things on this, I guess. All right. Okay. Um, so Cold Steel has a catchphrase here. Death to all who oppose me. I wish. Uh, oh, God. The shadow quote. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> alas, it's not the shadow quote. <clears throat> there's no finding that damn fourth Chaos Emerald here. But um, the uh, his catchphrase is, Psh, nothing. Personnel, kid. You know, it's actually. I have heard that, that line like that. before. That's where it. That's <laughs> where it came from. This is the. I never knew where that. it came from, but I have heard that line before. Oh god. Yeah, that was a uh, good old Cold Steel here. By uh, oh, and here's the best part. Uh, he, we have a copyright symbol here, underneath oh, him, god. drawn oh, in MS Paint, god. and it says, <laughs> copyright. Blood Skull Boy 84. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a 90s username, man. Yeah, exactly. Original the character, do not steal. Yeah. <laughs> this is Dark Angel 69 XXX all over again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Who knew this? Well,. I guess this just goes to show, guys, no matter how old you are, there will always be some form of edge. <laughs> some no some form of edgy teen phase. All right? No matter who you are, where you're from, or what your life is like, Cold Steel hates you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this episode of the Maple Shamrock has been brought to you by Epidemic Simulator by Kopec Games. Epidemic Simulator. It's exactly what it says on the tin. So you open up the game and you're given five sliders. You're given sneeze frequency, sneeze radius, infection percentage, length of sickness, and death. And they can be customized however you want. And when you go into the game, it's quite simple. I have it in front of me right now. Uh, you're given a set amount of people, a set amount of time. You can uh, control with various cameras and you can see all the little people uh, as they either get infected or as they uh, are cured or when they die and such. And you get to see how each scenario that you customize plays out. It's actually really addicting. The graphics in-game, the in-model, uh, the in-game models are really well built and it's like really interesting to look at. All of the different details being put into the game. Uh, and then you can get some pretty decent graphics out of it as well. And it, there's loads of options for uh, graphical output. Uh, based on how powerful your phone is or how much memory you have at the time because a lot of these things can vary but the simulator accommodates for all of them and honestly it's such a fun time sink it is it's really fun and i would appreciate it if you helped the channel out and went and checked them out uh, the game is available on android and soon to be ios uh, links will be in the description and the pinned comment